Good morning, it's Chris from uh, Family Camper Van Adventures and I'm back in the camper van. It's a bit chilly this morning, frost on the windscreens. Um, it's about nine o'clock, so most of that's gone. But I'm um, going to be doing the front brake pads on our Volkswagen uh, Transporter T5.1. Basically, it's going to be the same as most transporter, newer transporters. So T5s, T6, I think even T4s are similar. It's fairly similar. Um, I've got the brake pads here. I've got them off of Amazon. Um, there are so many different types of brake pads, so make sure you get the right ones for yours. I'm pretty sure I've got the right ones, but we'll find out when I get the wheels off, get the brake pads off, these fit. The only difference is I believe on mine is I don't think I've got the brake pad warning sensor actually on as part of my camper van. So I believe you just clip these out of the way if you haven't got it. Um, they just, they've got a clip on them on the back. To see there, there's a clip so you can clip them out of the way. It's always cable time, um, so it's not going to be in the way. In the worst case, you could even just chop it off if you haven't got the uh, connection. But most, most of the T5s, particularly lower range, uh, lower spec ones, would just be one spring. I believe on the ones with the larger alloy wheels, they have two springs. So I've got larger alloy wheels, but I fit them off the market. Uh, they're still the standard brakes, so. Oh, what I'll do is I'll put some links in the description for uh, these brake pads and also a lot of the tools I use. Um, again, Haynes manual is a must. So again, I'll put a link for that. Um, I've also got some of these. I'm going to try out these uh, trim removal tool kit I've got. Um, and there's lots of little trim tools, but well, today I'll be using it just to get the, the trims off the centre of the uh, the wheels so I don't damage the alloys um, and yeah just uh, we do we are part of the Amazon affiliate program so we will get a small commission from anything you buy off uh, of the links but you don't pay any more for that uh, so but just have to make you aware of it okay thank you so first job is to pop the bonnet we pop the bonnet it's the brake fluid cap we need to take off we do this because when we push the calipers back in, brake fluid level will rise. You don't want to get any pressure in there. Keep that somewhere nice and safe. Got good level in there, so hopefully it won't overfill. Right, let's get this trim off. There we go. And I'll keep that safe. And we've just got to get the jack under to support it. And then we've got to crack these uh, nuts off. Just get some weight off of the wheel. So we'll see how uh, tight these are. Start with the uh, with the locking one. Try not leave that one till last because it's going to be the weakest.
into why you do it while it's on the floor to give the pressure. Yeah, you have to put on it if it's up in the air, the wheel will be turned around. But you obviously want to, don't want the weight on it, too much on it, because you're obviously releasing. Locking one is still loose. You can get bigger breaker bars for this, but right. So I'm going to chop the rear wheels on this side, and we'll get it jacked up and put on the axle stands, and then we'll take the wheel off. So here's my new wheel chocks, plastic ones. It's one in the front, one in the back, and then we get an axle stand. Probably put this on a bit of wood, and we put that in the same place I did for the uh, wheel change. That bar under there. So we're changing these pads, so there's not much, not much left on them. Not sure what the other side's like. I don't know if we can see from here. I can't quite see. But um, yeah, basically we've got to take this off, take this whole assembly off, get the pads out. Um, yeah, should be should be straightforward. I say now. Right, so we're going to get this off first and keep this so we will be reusing it. Okay. There we go. Keep that to one side. Now, let's work out what we need. Yeah, we've got little covers on the back. Let's show if we can. Um, so, around here, we need to get this bit, the cover there, and there's one down, down there. Little plastic covers to protect the uh, Leave the Allen key nuts underneath, and the bolts underneath. Then we can take the whole assembly off once we uh, prise the brake uh, calipers apart a little bit.
There you go. See in there, the inner pad. Not much left on that at all. See in there. It's uh, definitely needed doing. What do we need on there? Right, so you need a 7mm hex bit, and I didn't have one. So fortunately, Halfords is just around the corner, and I'm going to pop round there and get one. And one of the neighbours was doing some work, but they had one. <laughs> Alfred's prices for this. I wonder if we do. If I can find one on Amazon a bit cheaper. I'll put a link in for that hex bit. I don't like using Alfred's because they're overpriced, I think, but they're handy. need to prise it off a little bit. Oh, I don't know what I've done. I haven't um I closed the uh, bonnet up when I went to the uh, went to Halford to to open it up and take the uh, cap back off the uh, the brake uh brake fluid. Right, so need to a screwdriver just to ease it back in a bit on the cylinder. The one spring one there's not much left on that one so using the clamp you just need to bring that down as it's helping me aren't you Isaac you helping we're getting all my sockets out there we go filming so that's it got the seat clamp on there pushing the can of the piston in so we can fit the new brake pads on. So cleaning up all the bits, scaring pad, wire wall, all the bits where it's gonna, the brakes are gonna move. Sliders. What we do is we put some 
copper grease. Those bits. I've hooked up the calipers with cable ties so they're not hanging off the, uh, the brake line. New pads fit, should fit. Oh dear. So, cut that off. Not 14. Oh no. So, I just want to clean these surfaces up. A little seized on before. Rest it there. So, a little smear. What you don't want is any of this grease getting on the actual. Breaking surfaces. But you can get it on these areas where it's you don't want it to seize. Off to hand to wipe off any excess. And then the side with the spring. And we grease up the back and these little bits here all running. Let me wipe away the excess fingers. And we've got to get that brake pad into place. I've got to put the calipers in. And if you go back into place, quite easy. Well, not this time, Isaac. They're okay at the minute. But we will in the future. I clean these up as well. We'll tighten it all up first, Isaac. And then we've got the other wheel to do. No, the front wheel. The other front one. Oh. A little smear. Don't need 
much. Going out on the thread. No, I can't at the moment, unfortunately. Oh, 14 might be actually. Yeah, 14 and 15 are both missing. I know exactly where they are. I just can't get to them. Somewhere down pool in a golf club, I think. Underneath washing machine. You want to wipe? Here, yeah, sit. Sorry? You forgot? Yeah. Well, that's a pretty good idea because you went out. <laughs> Oh, I've just had my coffee delivered. It's only about two hours late. <laughs> oh, I had a... Didn't have a seven mil hex bit. So we had to go to Halfords. Tying it all up. Probably torque settings, but I haven't got an adapter for my torque bit wrench. But they were just done tight. That's it. And the last bit to go on. Stuff. This should just hook in with a bit of force. You hear seagulls. Near the sea. It has an accent. The two bungs around the back. Oh, is it having trouble with his uh, imperial sockets? So, we're all on, we'll fit back into place, and then we'll just get the wheel back on.
it now we're done put the ignition on just to back it off the uh, back it off the truck as one of them was on that's solid so and then you put it in and just pump the brakes until we're right up I've already put the cap back on and the uh, the brake fluid level is right right up to the brim because <laughs> I put the uh, cylinders back up Now, when you just take it for a test drive, you're gonna to have to be careful with the brakes. Just make sure they're they're not. Um, they might be a bit spongy. They're brand new. I don't see any worries? Come back and have a proper look. Well, my darling wife does look after me. She made me a nice uh, egg pesto. Pasta and a coke left it on the side, made it lunchtime. <laughs> Obviously, I was busy, so yeah, my wife does. Nicole does look after me. Right, so test drive's done. Uh, all seems to be working okay. Obviously, you've got to take it easy, better men for a bit, uh, but a little bit squealy at times. Um, hopefully, that will get better uh, but uh, might just be cheap brake pads I don't know <laughs> um, see how they go uh, only thing left to do really is to check the torque uh, retorque the, uh, the, uh, the the bolts on the wheels um, should have about 50 miles 30 50 miles um, I might do that again now but I've only done about 10 15 miles so but yeah and then if they're tight still then that's fine if not then you want to give it another 50 miles whatever and then try again until they're all uh they stay tight basically uh, i've had to do it a few times when the wheels were new um hopefully now they should stay tight because they're not new wheels <laughs> so yeah obviously 100 new, 180 new meters uh for this for this van um so thanks for watching Hope it's been helpful to anyone uh if you like these sort of videos yeah please like please like the video uh, please subscribe to the channel uh we do well, planning on some camping trips as soon as well not quite as soon as we're allowed but um i think we're looking at the may first may bank holiday all being well um and i hopefully do a, a camping and caravanning club da uh temporary holiday site it's district association it's um basically like a field uh, looking at uh, Bradford, Bradford upon Avon, but again, whether they're going to be opening, we don't know yet. Uh, so we might have to look at a commercial site uh, again if we're allowed. But hopefully, we'll have a camping trip soon. <laughs> and we've planned um, trips for for Wales in June, our two week holiday. Uh, but we were going to do Wales last year, uh, so. But it had to be cancelled so hopefully june in the sun we'll be in wales but um otherwise maybe a couple of weekends before that will be in restrictions permitting so again please like please subscribe to the channel um doesn't cost you anything uh, and also check the links out below uh, for parts tools uh, associated with this video um again we Get a small commission from anything bought on those off those links but you don't pay any more uh but it does help us obviously all money we would get from it would go into creating better content uh okay so thanks for watching bye